Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today we're on the homestead. Here's one of my main solar panel arrays. And uh, I want to tell you, tell you a little bit about them. And I'm going to tell you something that if you have solar, if you have off-grid solar, if you have a battery bank, especially if you have lead acid batteries, I'm going to show you something today that I you have to have on your battery bank. I'm telling it's my number one recommendation for all people who have an off-grid solar system and especially a lead acid battery bank. Now listen, this is not a paid endorsement. The company that I'm about to show you that, that I, th I believe is a, is a top-notch company, a top-notch product that has helped us throughout the years. They're not paying me in any way. They don't even know I'm doing this video. This is the kind of channel where you tune in, and if I see that, see that something works, I'm going to share it with you. If I see that something does not work, I'm going to call it out for what it is. So let me just go ahead and share with you today what I'm telling you, that if you have a battery bank, if you have any type of off-grid solar setup with lead-acid batteries or even AGM batteries, you need to have this for your system. My friends, this right here is called the Battery Lifesaver, and this is the 24-volt model. Um, you know, I, when I first heard about this device, it was from another YouTuber who recommended putting it on their on your system if you were building one. And they kind of gave you the schematics of how they had it hooked up and everything. And they said it had great reviews. Well, I went out and I did as much research as I possibly could on it because I wanted to build the best system that I could possibly build because I want this to last for a good amount of years. And I read the reviews on this battery lifesaver. And the reviews were phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Now, I talked to a number of experts in the industry, in the solar industry. These were mostly companies that will help, you know, you can hire them to come out and build your system for you. And, you know, they'll, they'll provide the products and you pay a, just an astronomical fee for their services. And most of those experts, if they, did, if they knew what I was talking about, and most of them did, they poo-pooed this. They called it a gimmick. They called it, um, they called it just a, a, you know, just, I don't know, a, a, an unworthy product. I mean, there was all kinds of things. They were like, no, this is not, it doesn't do what it says it does. And they basically poo-pooed uh, the battery lifesaver. Well, folks, I'm four years now into this, and I can tell you that this will save a battery bank. Um, it has done a phenomenal job at working with both. We have two different battery banks on our homestead and we have one of these on each of the banks. And I'm telling you, I have seen firsthand uh, the abilities of the small little product. It's where it, it costs around 120 bucks. I think if you buy it online, that's what I paid for it about four years ago. I don't know if the price has gone up at all, you know, since then or not, but I'm telling you this little device, the battery lifesaver, the reviews were phenomenal. And I can give you firsthand experience, um, embarrassingly so, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But this works. It works. And if you have a battery bank, if you have off-grid solar, this is what you have to have tied to your system. Now, here's our outdoor battery box. And you can see the battery lifesaver sits right here on the side. Uh, I'm not going to show you the inside of the box because really that's not necessary. What I am going to do is show you, put up on screen a diagram and show you how we have everything hooked up so that you can see exactly how everything is wired for this particular system. And it includes wind power. Now, um, there's some differences between that when you add up a system. So if you want to know how to hook it up, you may need to uh, make changes to your system if you want to use our schematics to hook up your own. But this shows you clearly how we have have our battery lifesaver hooked up to our system and tied into our battery bank. What the battery lifesaver does from what I've read is send pulses through your battery system to constantly desulfate your battery, to, to remove the crystallization off of the plates and to desulfate the batteries back into electrolytes and, you know, fully better than what powering them can do. See, every time your battery discharges, it creates these crystals on the plates. And then every time your battery charges, it removes those crystals back to electrolytes. Well, what the battery lifesaver does is it sends pulses constantly through your system, just small pulses to put those crystals back to electrolytes um, so that your batteries remain fully charged and can hold a full charge. And so after four years of using this thing, it works. So if you're interested, that's that's the schematic. And if you want to see that schematic again, plus uh, other schematics that we have here on the homestead of how we have things wired up, you can go to our website at AmericanHomestead.com and just search for solar in the search box on our website. And you'll pull up all the different articles with the schematics that you can download and they'll blow up to, you know, printable size if you want to. So that you can see firsthand the schematics and how we have everything wired up here on our homestead. Let me go ahead and tell you a story that I'm kind of ashamed to have to tell you. 
but a number of months ago, I really abused this battery bank. You know, I am the kind of guy, and people who know me know me. They understand that I like to put things off. I put things off until, you know, things I really don't want to do, and I forget things, and, and that's kind of what happened here. So with a lead-acid battery bank, you have to maintain it. It requires maintenance. You need to continually top off the battery bank with distilled water and making sure the levels are correct. And, you know, it's just a, a high-maintenance type battery, whereas AGM batteries in, in our other system, they're basically you know, put them in, install it, and forget it. They're okay. You don't have to do constant maintenance on them, whereas this one, every few months, you need to make sure those distilled water levels are topped off. Well, I put it off and put it off and put it off, and one day I came out here and the battery bank is dead. And I opened it up, and sure enough, the distilled water levels were way below the plates. It looked horrible, and I'm like, oh, this bank is gone. I mean, I mean the bank is dead, and there's no way I'm going to be able to recover from this. I went inside, I got some distilled water, which we have on, you know, we have plenty of distilled water here, and I topped off the batteries, and sure enough, next time the sun came out, boom, they were, they were good to go. And right now, it's, part, it's a pretty partly cloudy day, uh, but, um, I mean, the levels stay pretty high when the sun's out, like right now it's in float mode, so it's at 28.8 volts, and on a cloudy day, you come out here, it's at 25, 26 volts. It's doing okay, no problem. It holds the charge really well, and I attribute all that to the battery lifesaver. See, most people would tell you when you get a battery bank down that low, um, when there's almost no distilled water left in the system, it's done for. Write it off. Start over because you're done. But I basically added the water back. The battery lifesaver went back to work. Power started flowing through the panels and we're good to go again. So there it is, sun's out right now and it's in absorb mode. It's basically, I mean, it's, it's fully charged. 28.8 volts is where it stops at. So it's not taking any energy in, um, but it'll go to float mode here pretty quick. And like I said, on cloudy days, it'll sit up at like 25, 26 volts and 26.6, uh, whatever. Uh, it, it'll fully charge and stay charged. It, it's a, it's, the system is running top notch. Now on our homestead, we have two systems, two different battery banks. And again, the schematics, I'll post them on the screen. You can see them right here. You can find them online, downloadable at anamericanhomestead.com just by going to the search box and searching for solar. But I, wanna under, I want you to understand something that I put this on both uh, systems, one being a lead acid battery system and the other being an AGM system. The reviews on this were so phenomenal. I thought it'd be best to put it on both systems and really truly after four years of running this, our systems are awesome. They're, they're running great. Um, they're still alive. And even though we've had some mishaps and we've abused our system slightly, uh, if not, you know, severely, according you know, with this system here, uh, they're still running and they're still providing power when we need it. So even on a cloudy day when there should be no charge coming into these things, they're holding a charge, they're providing power, they're doing it well. So listen, this is not a paid endorsement for batteries, the battery lifesaver. I'm just showing you what works, what I have found that works and recommending it to you. If I find something doesn't work and people ask me about it, I'll tell you and be honest with you that it doesn't work. But this works and I think it's well worth it. If you have a solar system, off-grid especially, and if you have a lead acid battery bank or even an AGM battery bank, this is a product I highly recommend. And people come to me all the time wondering, you know, what they can do for their solar, how they can better or how they can build a solar setup and have it be a good one. The battery lifesaver is one of the top things on the list that I recommend for them to buy. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please check out this list of amazing folks. These are our patrons. They make all of our videos possible. They are the executive producers of our show. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to patreon.com slash an American homestead and learn about all the benefits of becoming a patron. Other than that, watch these videos over here on the left, and we'll see you next time on an American homestead. <laughs>